Hello, I'm Calm Cal and welcome to the channel. And this is one of the best games on the spectrum, Target Renegade. And there are loads of these types of games. Well, good games. And you know what? Most of them are free to download and use now. So in this video, I'm going to show you where to download these games from, how to install the Spectrum Core Fuse on RetroArch, get it up and running, and go through some of the issues I had when trying to run and play these Spectrum games. The Spectrum is an old home computer and setting this up can be tricky. You may have already tried to emulate this Spectrum core before and gave up. The Spectrum is a strange beast to tame. It can be puzzling if you don't know a little bit more about the Spectrum's background and for this reason I can fully understand why people struggle with getting this core set up. My second computer was a Spectrum 48K. With the promise of great improvements by Sinclair, the 128K was my third computer. So, I do have a little bit of experience with this beauty. I do say beauty now and not beast, as although the graphics are a little bit weak, the playability is good. There is certainly beauty within this computer. And as stated before, all of this can be done for free. Yeah, free software. The Fuse emulator will be running in RetroArch, as I said. This is a great front end which collates a load of different emulators together and also one of your ways to get a lot of systems up and running all in one place. You will need to set up the basics of RetroArch up first. If you're not familiar with RetroArch, no problem, I have made a couple of videos already on my channel to help you out. I suggest you watch them both, but at the very least, at the very least, Watch my first video where I go through the install, updating cores, basic navigation, the gamepad setup. These two videos were aimed towards the PS1 emulation, which is another great machine, but they do go through all the basics of what you will need to know to get this Spectrum core up and running. So please do watch these if you're not familiar with RetroArch itself. I don't want to keep going through the basics of RetroArch because otherwise we're just going to get longer and longer videos. So without further ado, let's get stuck. Uh, I can't pinch that now, can I? He's back. Um, let's try. Let's get going. Hmm, needs a little bit of work. How about. Let's continue. So let's talk about ROM, shall we? Normally a taboo subject, but we can do this now. With the Spectrum, the games are free to download from the world of spectrum.org, and this is normally the first place that everybody goes to. It's got everything in the archive there that they can legally share. Uh, it's also got emulators and various utilities and everything else. So it's definitely worth a look there. Also, we've got the TZX Vault. And uh, these are all individual listed here by letters. And um, there's also different platforms here for different home computers. We've got Moby Games. This is another source where you can download games from. We've got Spectrum Computing, this looks like a nice modern site, uh, this is where you've got downloads for games and more information there which is all listed. And we've got a fellow YouTuber here, I don't know if you've heard of Simply Austin but he's had a little bit of a break and he's now returned, very glad of his return. And he did a video about four years ago where he's got an attachment there of the full uh, set of ROMs which you can probably download. I suspect it's still active. If it's not, then give him a shout out on his site. And if you're not already uh, subscribed to him, he's definitely worth a subscription. He's a really nice bloke as well. So we've also got the tip shop. If you're struggling with any games, give it a look up and it'll give you some hints and tips and things. All the links for these sites will be listed in the video description. So just check that out and tap on and you get direct to all of these different sites all right save you having to search for them and clicking on the wrong thing so we better have a look at RetroArch then and setting that up so let's get going nah it's terrible isn't it that let's proceed so we'll just boot into RetroArch then what I like to do is go into online updater update it all and what we're looking for is probably at the bottom in it ZX something or other or oh, Sinclair so Sinclair ZX Spectrum Fuse so just select that and it'll download it mine's already installed because I've been playing with it for a little bit and what you need to do is go to we will go to desktop menu so I'm going to the desktop menu click OK on here and what we want to do is so 
possible I go into this area here and then select new playlist and if we go to stop it open yeah Libectra we got Sinclair ZX Spectrum here so if I just copy that and then go back into retro right click and paste and then select OK and then we got a little spectrum there haven't we so if we go it's highlighted so if we go on here add an entry select the path and it's on G so it's under spectrum games so we've got renegade 2 target renegade select that one and we'll just pull renegade 2 target renegade so the call we want is fuse database there and we want to select the ZX Spectrum but we want the 128 for this game because the 128 version is a lot better than the 48k one there's no extension so I just press OK what I'm going to do now is just add a folder and we'll set the whole folder Multiple, multiple, cool. I'll set them off for the fuse. Oh, let's just select ZX Spectrum. I mean, if, you, if you go onto these and then you select download thumbnail, don't find anything. But because I've actually found some box art for those, let me just find those, just be a second. So I've got some here. So. I'll highlight Bounty Bob. Is that highlighted? And then just drop that in there. Now Target Renegade. Got one there. We'll drop that for Target Renegade. And then for Spy Hunter. We'll just drop that in for Spy Hunter. There we go. It's all set up. So we can run it from here or we can go back to the main menu what I suggest you do now is close this one and then go back to retro arc and what we will do we'll, we'll quit retro arc and then restart retro arc and then it should load all of those things in for us now we've got those three games that we've put in. We need to find some better box art really because it's a bit a bit blurry, isn't it? If you do know of anywhere for box art for the ZX Spectrum, please let me know in the comments. And we'll see whether we can link some because trying to find it from the core, the automatic downloader doesn't seem to do anything. Even if you rename the the game, see so I tried renaming this to Europe, still didn't find anything change target renegade just put renegade 2 in still nothing so so I'm gonna try renegade 2 and try run so what we need to do is just press start and select and then what we need to do is go on to controls put one controls make sure this is set up for chemston joystick because if it's not set up for Kempston joystick, this menu you can see in the background, the keyboard for the Spectrum won't appear. So make sure that it's set up for Kempston joystick. Okay, everything else would already be set up for you. Didn't need to uh, do anything else with, with it. Just set it up for Kempston joystick. And that's really, really important that you do that. Otherwise you won't be able to play any of the games, really. The, the background keyboard won't come up at all, so you can't select anything. Okay, and just make sure you save it once you've done it. Shaders, I don't think there's anything on there for shaders and things, so there we go. So we'll just go and resume. Now we've selected the Kempston joystick, then we can access the background menu for the keyboard. 
just by selecting the select and there we are Press select and the keyboard comes up so what we want to do for this particular game is set the control options which is number three so we just press select and then go across to number three and press the controller mine is the B button so we want to select Kempston so this is number three again so press select and then selected the Kempston. For player two we want say the keyboard if you've got another controller we can probably set that up for Sinclair 2 on on the input maps for the second player. Select and then select number one. And now I want to start a one player game and select number one. There we are all up and running and this is set up for the 128 mode because the background music and everything is there so I'm pressing start and select now you can save core overrides there if you want to options and then if you go to if it's set up for the wrong one because it was initially set up for the 48k on one of my previous attempts at doing this so you can actually swap it between all the different platforms that you want to all right but for target renegade the spectrum 128 is the best one because at 48k it's expecting you to load the second level once you complete the first one and you can't do it so always select the Spectrum 128K for most of the games and then it will automatically load. Okay, there's all different things on here. If you want to, you can play around with. But I wouldn't. Leave all these joypad ones as they are. I haven't touched them at all. I haven't really done anything at all with this except for selecting the model. Now I'm just press back on here. And then... Save core overrides, so it's saved everything for this particular game. Okay, so I'm just gonna go into Bounty Bob. So it's loaded in for one to eight k, but this is a one. This is a forty eight k game, so it's not going to work because the one to eight came out a lot later than when the forty eight k did and this game can't cope with 128k without it being set up correctly so if we press start and select and if we go on to options and then change it from 128 to just 48k don't need to change anything else on here and what we're going to do is go to overrides save core overrides for this one and also save game overrides for this particular game itself okay so if we go out of retroarch altogether and then back into it when we now go back onto bounty bob it should yeah it should work as you can tell, it is an older game than <laughs> Target Renegade. So, already set up for Kempston interface or the Kempston joystick. You can tell it's an older game just by the actual gameplay itself. It's still an enjoyable game, it's a bit like Pac Man. Right, trying to get me here. Uh, the lines under the platform you've got to go on and complete all the or walk on every single square get rid of the lines as you go and you've got a little timer in in the middle of the screen as you're collecting these different objects it's giving you the option to change the little wherever they are so that you can use them 
there we are. Level complete. Right, start and select on here. And I'm just gonna go back into Target Renegade. So back into it, so we're gonna select the control options again. So we're gonna select number well, it's gone off that screen now, isn't it? Press enter on there. So you want control options number three, select number three, and uh, we want number three again, so select number three, player two, we're gonna select number one for keyboard. So go to number one, and then one player, number one. And there we are, all moving. I'm lucky for some. Happens sometimes. And, um, so, there we are. All up and running. All good. So, don't forget to like and subscribe. More videos to come on emulation, presumably. I might do a uh, upload of just Target Renegade. Just showing you the moves and things and how awkward the game can be. <laughs> but and is awkward if you've got the knowledge to play the game. So all the links are in descriptions for um, hints and tips. Some of them got maps and things like that if you get stuck with some of the, some of the games. There are quite a lot of good, decent Spectrum games. Well worth a look. I might do a top 10 or something. Would that interest anybody? Leave a comment in the comment section, let me know. My name is Cal, have a good morning, afternoon or good evening. Farewell till next time and I will see you later. Thanks for watching. Ooh. Mm -hmm.